Hey guys, Katie here. Thanks for watching again. And you know that feeling when you come home and you see this box on your doorstep? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So I have a mini haul from Sephora and it is very mini. I only have three things because um, we all know your dollar doesn't go very far there. So I have also a couple of things I got from Amazon and I had to add in a couple of things from um, Goodwill that I picked up because this wouldn't be a thrift channel without some thrifted things. So let me show you some of the things I got from Sephora. Uh, first is an actual cool courtesy gift. Sometimes you get those courtesy gifts from magazines or whatever, perks, and they're kind of lame bags or just gross and you would never ever use them. This one's actually kind of cute. It's got striping and I'm sure you've seen it everywhere and the pink and red lips. I actually see myself using this, like bringing it to the gym or something. It is a really cute bag. Red and stripes practically has my name on it. Alright, where should I start? I don't even know. Okay, let us start with this. The first thing I picked up is Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector um, in the pressed format in the color Topaz. Look at how beautiful that is. So I'm kind of like a bronzing virgin. I never bronze my face, never even tried any of those products, never even looked in that direction in the makeup shops. So what really inspired this purchase was actually a NARS ad. And I believe it was for autumn and winter, some sort of autumn and winter promo, but it was of this Asian model and she had these gorgeous contoured cheeks, very heavily bronzed. It looked really amazing. So of all the bronzers I was looking at, this one was the most gorgeous to me. It's so soft to the touch and then, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous gold. It'll be interesting to see how it'll work on my olive skin tone. So here's that. And I'm glad I waited for the sale because um, these are normally $38, so I was able to save a couple pennies or more. It was 20% off, so there's that. So the next two things are fragrances, and I can't bring myself to ever buy a full bottle of something because I get sort of annoyed or sick of the perfume, so I don't want to waste a whole bottle. I usually buy like solids or rollerballs. So this one here is Tokyo Milk's Dark in Clove Cigarettes. And this is intended to be a lip balm, but I'm using it mostly as a solid perfume. And this smell is just so nostalgic to me which sounds kind of weird. I wasn't a smoker as a small child, I promise. But um, it just reminds me of the kids in high school. It just reminds me of the kids who smoked um, clove cigarettes. And I've, I've tried them a couple times too, and I remember I stopped because I heard that uh, they make your lungs bleed. They're really intense. If you've never smelled a clove cigarette, um, you probably just detect spices like cinnamon, but not that uh, overly sickening cinnamon that whacks you in the face when you go to like Michael's with all the pine cones at Christmas time. This is more subtle. Uh, it, it's really a lovely smell. I love it a lot. I don't know about the taste because I'm not wearing it as a lip balm. The first ingredient is petroleum, which really sucks as a lip treatment. Um, so I'll just be using it as a solid perfume. The next thing is something I've been eyeing for a while. It's Ness Midnight Fleur and I just love it. I have been drawn to it because of the artwork on it. It's sort of inspired by the botanical artist Mary Delaney and I just love botanicals over a black backdrop. The contrast is so whimsical and beautiful. These are one of those perfumes that you have to actually wear on your skin to get the actual scent, the true scent. If you go to the store and just sniff it off the rollerball or the bottle, you just pick up on um, some fruity notes, 
nothing else really, but when you wear it on the skin, it transforms oh, into this warm black amber and spices. It's really a great autumn winter fragrance, I think. If you're familiar with um, Thierry Mugler's Angel, it's kind of that sort of spiciness to it. Um, not overly spicy, but sultry and kind of dark, which is what I like in a perfume. Um, and it's also got that warm coziness to, if you were to imagine it like being in a log cabin looking out a frozen window pane and looking into a snowy forest, it's got that warmth about it. Um, but let me draw back. This is just a gorgeous perfume. I'm really glad I picked it up. Moving on to Amazon, I picked up two things and one of them is a solid perfume and it's Pacifica's Mediterranean Fig. Oh my gosh, it's a pain in the butt to open. Okay. This is just a true fig leaf smell. As plain as it is, there is no other depth or anything, even when you wear it. It's just a plain, nice green smell. So if you were to take leaves and rip them up, that this is uh, the definition of that green smell that you would get. So it's nice to wear, it's refreshing, and I really like that the base is coconut and soy wax, so it's really got good ingredients in it. The next thing I'm very excited about, it's definitely one of my favorite polishes. It's Zoya's Pixie Dust in NYX, or NYX. And of all the Pixie Dust, this one is really the coolest to me. It's kind of a pain to work with. I used a sheer white coat as a base, and I still needed about four coats of this to get a solid color, but it's really worth the effort. It looks very cool. And I would say skip a top coat because the top coat sort of takes away from the twinkle that this has. So this was about eight bucks on Amazon. Now moving on to thrifted pieces that I got at Goodwill. The first thing is a basic for me. It's this striped long sleeve. And it's that heavy, thick sort of cotton with these camel and black stripes. I could see myself wearing it a ton. It goes with nearly everything. So here's this top here. The next thing are these great chunky heels. And they're made by Forever 21. So you may have some in your closet right now. But uh, they got this really cool, big, circular hardware on the side with these ankle straps. And I just love how they look like, sort of like doll shoes. Don't they kind of look like doll shoes? But that chunky heel is something I've been looking for a lot of. It's just a really cool shoe. And these were five bucks. Next thing, going back to that botanical sort of look, is this vintage bag. And it's made by... Um, signature Club A, how exclusive. It just has a vintage look to it and it's just I think leather on one side and then it's got these great botanicals. I think you could use it as a makeup bag or carry it as a clutch which is something I will definitely do because I love this pattern. So I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I really love reading your comments, so leave me messages, let me know what you're thinking out there. And I hope to see you guys over at the blog, and if you don't have a cool thrift shop, or if they're all closed, you can swing on over to mine, I'll leave all the links down below. And I'll talk to you guys later, bye!